what's up guys you have caught me on a good day i realize this is, might be the most poor intro i've ever done but here we go welcome to a skincare episode so basically i just got a very exciting parcel from gun telephone and i have now decided that I'm going to sort through all of the skincare in my bathroom because I have a lot of empties. I have a lot of crap that I just, I get a lot of skincare sent to me. I'm very grateful for it. But also if you hear traffic noises, I'm so sorry. Um, it's boiling in our flat and apparently every lorry and his mum is out tonight. So tonight, today, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'll show you the stitch we've got currently going on. So this is my current little skincare shelf. As you can see, it's all, I mean, honestly, I've been away for, I haven't been consistently home for a week in a long time. I've been all over the shop. So this skincare shelf kind of represents it. Like it's got a bit of order, but it's also a massive mess. So we're gonna tidy this up. We're gonna get all of this off. I've got more skincare somewhere else and I'm going to talk you through empties, going to talk you through my go-tos, going to talk you through stuff that I just don't use and yeah, should be good. First things first though, I've got, to, I've got to sort this out. I will clean this bathroom again, I haven't been home in what feels like forever. So I'm going to grab, what should I do? I might grab this basket, whoopsies, <laughs> just making more mess, this box, this box can be the uh, this is already like skincare stuff that I don't use or like makeup that I do have, but I do use some of this. Why is that in there? Oh me, I just need to, do you ever wish that there was like a reset button and everything just goes back to where it's meant to be? Just me? Cool. Well, oh, actually the thing I wish most in my life ow, um, <laughs> is that firstly I got into Hogwarts when I was 11, I sat around waiting for that letter in the post, never got to disappoint. In my head it was because I thought it was like an August baby so they didn't quite make the cusp. up. Turns out I just didn't get into Hogwarts. And I really wish that the Accio spell was real. That's the one, so everyone's like, if you could have one spell from Harry Potter, what would you want it to be? And mine was Accio because I can never find anything. I've got it pretty close with my Apple Watch on my phone. But everything else, I can't Apple Watch my like serums, can I? No. So this is my lens because I wanted it to be like a time lapse and I just started talking. Okay, so I've got my skincare that I already have. A lot of this is empty. I just can't, I haven't, I need, I've been eating meetings since for a while. And then I've got, this was gifted from Drunk Elephant. Mate, I'm so happy with all of this. Uh, I'll run you through what's in this box after I basically tell you what I've already got and what I'm throwing out. Things like that. But yeah, they kind of gifted this to me. I am so stoked, honestly. This is like a childhood brand for me, not because I could afford it growing up, but because when I was like 15, 16, my mum came back from Space NK, which is like an upmarket, I don't know how to describe it. It's a bit like a Sephora in the UK, but it only sells like nice brands. Like I think Ren Skincare, Charlotte Tilbury, like it only sells lovely stuff. Um, and she came back and they always give out loads of samples, which is probably why I love them so much. But they, she came out with a tub of the La La Retro Whipped Face Cream and it ruined my life in the best way possible because literally ever since then, my 16 year old skin loved it and my 22 year old skin loves it now. It's just the perfect nighttime moisturizer for me. And I'll get into what my skin is like as we talk about all of this. But yeah, so we're gonna have to start somewhere else. Oh, oh, it's all happening. Can you tell that I like these? Just might have been wondering, hey, where have you been? I, as many of you know, I model. That's my like primary thing. Um, I've been away, I've been on holiday. Um, I also, I struggle with YouTube a little bit because I don't feel like I've got into a groove with it yet. I used to feel this way about Instagram as my boyfriend very lovingly points out to me. He was like, Annie, you used to get upset over Instagram posting and now I do it like it's second nature. So it's all, it's a learning curve. You know, I film this all on my phone. I um, don't have a camera. This runs my phone battery down. There are, like, there are lots of pros and cons to all of this. I am trying to get better, I promise. 
but um, I think just stick with me for now, please, with the YouTube thing. So in terms of empties, I used to have a few more, but I actually um, threw them out because I was like, I'll never get around to filming this video, and this is a couple of months ago now, so I guess I never did. But, so in terms of empties that I have, I have the Lala Retro Whipped Face Cream from Drunk Elephant, and I have the Proteiny Peptide Cream. The reason these are empty is because I literally, this is my morning one, this is my eve, like nighttime one, I've never found two moisturisers that I've been so religious with. Like with skincare routines, everyone's like, how do you develop a routine? How do you, you know, figure out what works for you? It's a lot of trial and error, as you'll, I'll talk through some of this as well. It's a lot of trial and error and it's a lot of noticing what your skin reacts well to and giving it time. Because a lot of the time you can put something on your skin and a week later it will be mad. Or sometimes you'll put something on your skin and it'll be mad like within 10 seconds. So you never really know. And that's why you've got to think about other factors when it comes to skincare. Like, is it your diet? Is it external factors? Do you live in a particularly polluted city? Do you live, what time of year is it? My God, my skin in winter, I get dry eyelids rest of the year I'm fine so it genuinely has loads of factors so it's never just your skincare but the best I found that these work for me all year round and that's probably why I like them the most is because I can use them all year round and then in terms of this this is the ever calm global protection day cream from brand skincare if I didn't have this one I use this like these two for me are pretty I wouldn't say interchangeable because they definitely have different properties but this one for a chucking it like this component's quite heavy so i tend to travel with this one um chucks in your bag i love brand skincare in terms of favorite skincare brands it's these two i've got a couple more i also i'll talk through them in a second but these two i'd say my two favorite day creams like hands down and that's why they're empty okay cleansers so i have a fair few that i've been using either for a little while or not very long at all but I used to use I used to use whatever I could just find at Boots to be honest and then I started modeling and then I realized that I had to invest in my skincare because you do it's part of you know you've got to look good it's like going to the gym as a model you've also got to do good things for your face and um, I do have skin I, I've got I will like be the first to say my skin's pretty good I've never really struggled with you know intense acne my, I don't get blackheads very easily. I'm very fortunate in that sense, but I do have some skin issues. Like I've got very sensitive skin. Like the tiniest thing will make my skin blow up, go red, go dry, break me out. Like sometimes I've been on shoots and I've had very heavy makeup done the next day. My skin's like enraged. So I get a lot of spots around the sides of my face here. I also have started getting loads here. Um, according to face mapping, this is to do with your stomach and I have a bad stomach, so long story. Um, but yeah, my face is pretty, I, I've not got any base on right now and you can see all the redness. It's just the way my face looks. I'm pretty pale, so it's just how it is. So these are the cleansers that, again, a lot of this stuff I have been gifted just for total transparency, but I'm not gonna, you know, say so much, like, I'm not gonna lie about any of them. Um, okay, so firstly, this one from Nuka Skin. It's a British brand. I actually got paid by them to make some content. And when that happens, you can either use the products once to film the content and then just put them in a box. Or in my case, I've actually, I love this stuff. It smells, like I leave the house if I use this and I can smell the honey, it's lovely. So unfortunately it's not vegan, but it's um, got Manuka honey in it. And God, it just smells so good. And I found that it's, Manuka and Aloe Gel Cleanser and it really does help for me get makeup off. It's really good for, I travel with this one as well. In terms of cleansers I travel with, this is the one I take because on those bottles 150 I put it in a pot because it just, it's so just multi-use. Like it doesn't feel stripping. The aloe in it is great for after you've been in the sun. The Manuka honey again helps, oh, Manuka honey is just amazing. It's humectant, it's antimicrobial, antibacterial. Um, and that is actually something I knew because I used to work at Lush. <laughs> that was my first job, I worked at Lush Cosmetics. And yeah, I've just found that this is a good all-rounder, like just unoffensive in terms of things it does for your skin. Like it get it does what it says on the tin, but with some added benefits and I love that. Um, my other go-to favorite is the Best Number Nine jelly cleanser from Drunk Elephant. They've actually sent me a new one. So thank God, because this one's nearly out. 
and again this is another one that's just super it's not got sls fragrance or essential oils in and listen i am not an essential oils gal sometimes but for when it comes to a cleanser i genuinely think less is more if it has fragrance in it i'm out if it has coloring in it i'm out like what is the point in this day and age what is the point of having anything unless it the smell comes from the ingredients what is the point of added fragrance in like big skincare i don't i don't but either way yeah this is another just super gentle easy does what it says on the tin pretty like these two are pretty staple for me um in terms of cleansers i current i also have this bog myrtle and lime one i've not had this long enough um it's from west barn co which is like the soap brow brand i didn't realize it is skincare as well and when they sent me this i was actually really excited i've not used this long enough to give an opinion on it yet but i can just tell you it smells nice um and it's got something in it it smells like herby like it definitely smells annoyingly it smells a bit like this like head lice stuff my mum used to use in us because it was like full of natural like herbs and things like that it wasn't a chemical it smells nice it doesn't smell bad i'm not saying it's head lice remover but no it's bog and like, like it smells lovely basically is but i haven't used it long enough to give an opinion on what it does to my skin but i do have this and i might give it to my boyfriend because it's oil balancing so and i don't have very oily skin so maybe that's why i gravitate towards what i know and love but i've tried this a couple times it hasn't made my skin angry but i don't know what it does in the long run hope that helps and then these two you can see that these are like dead empty uh these are from ren skincare and they before i got the nuka one and the drunk elephant one these two were my go-to's um their ever calm collection if you have sensitive skin run don't walk to ever calm uh, this is the gel and the milk i personally don't know so i personally prefer the milk over the gel just because i feel like this one is just slightly more gentle i mean they're pretty much they're really similar it's just texture i think and i feel like this one helps protect your skin barrier a little bit more but i could be talking out my ass here so i do prefer this but they are lovely as like again sensitive skin go for these Okay, so in terms of face masks, I've got three. I've got the Sandman Sky Pink Australian Clay Mask. Again, gifted the majority of this stuff. I'll just tell you when I bought something. That's what I'll say. Um, they gifted me these. They've actually given me a replacement for this one because I adore this. This is the one I use before every shoot. It's an electrolyte water facial um, mask. And basically, it's just amazing the night before a shoot because it basically plumps up your skin adds loads of moisture into it because when you're under bright lights all day you've got different products on you it can really dry and strip your skin so it's perfect and then i've got the tlc sukari baby facial listen this stuff is potent like in, it's a chemical exfoliant so i have had times when i've come out with spots after using this but that's basically your skin just purging and they're tiny whiteheads like they're not big offensive spots and then you know day after they're gone so this is pretty incredible actually as a mask and again sensitive skin stuff like this used to really rile my skin up but i don't know what's in this don't know if it's magic but this is a uh, this is pretty friggin good i love this one and then all of these products i have actually do different things so this is the clay mask from uh, sand and sky it smells so good like i don't know what it smells like but it smells yummy and it <laughs> comes with a little brush as well how cute they did pay me to make content for them um and i do like this quite a lot it does tighten your skin my skin doesn't love it so i can't use it very much because it is very drying because it does you know detox your skin and because my skin is not particularly oily to begin with when i find i do use it it's good for days after like if i've had like a week of gymming like intensive gymming and i just feel a bit congested it's perfect for that and i think personally i don't really need to use it on like my cheeks i just kind of need to use it in my t-zone but yeah, I'd say it's a good mask. It's a good all-rounder, this one, if you've got oily skin. It's good for just, like, sucking the gunk out. Moisturisers. I've talked you through my two empties, and they've given me more. You know what? I think they gave me two of the... Yeah, they gave me two of the Lala Retro Whip Face Cream. This makes me so happy. I can't tell you, because I use this stuff. Like, oh, just it's just so good. Please, if you want to buy an expensive moisturiser, this is the one. I think it retails for, like, 50-something pounds. But it's worth it. 
it's genuinely worth it in my opinion invest in skincare and because your skin's you know the biggest organ on your body and your face you have this one face for life you know so why pay for surgery when you can just buy moisturizer <laughs> This is my go-to and then recently because i didn't have the green one that i use on a daily basis i've been trying out this bioma um moisturizing gel cream and i've never done well with gels i don't know why my skin doesn't like absorbing them but it likes this one quite a lot i found that mixing this in especially on holiday this was fab because you get super sweaty and you don't want a heavy moisturizer this bioma one i mix it with um is it this one the redness release serum from ren this was like the perfect holiday combo in my opinion like it was just so good oh this is gonna have to go in my empties pile Aww. no this was a perfect um moisturizer for me personally so if you want a good slightly more like budget friendly moisturizer this is a fab alternative to the proteiny i think right we're terrified of them no one really knows what they do serums so i've got a lot of serums my go-to tried and true everyday serum is the redness relief one from ren you can take this out and about with you as well so if you get flushed from something like if it gets windy if you go on a run and you need to quickly calm your skin down this genuinely does help and it's just it's just so it's perfect for people like me who go red easily so this is like a really good everyday simple one um i also got put onto their glow and protect serum i had my doubts it's very similar to this so i'd say these two very similar things so this one um this one you can only use at night because it's slightly stronger but i'd say they're both very good in terms of just helping resurface your skin a little bit and it's just this one says glow and protect so it also helps with your skin barrier this one i think is just you know lifting away dead skin cells and things like that this does that too but it's slightly gentler so this one you can use in the morning too you just have to put spf on after it but this one if I had to pick between the two, I'd say I prefer this one because I don't, I like using as few, believe it or not, I actually like using as few products as I can. I tend to only put on like a moisturiser and a serum in the morning and that's it. And then my SPF, I don't like layering with tons of stuff because A, I'm lazy and B, I don't see the point. If I can find two products that hit most points for me, like that works. I don't want to use loads of stuff just for the sake of using loads of stuff. So I travelled with this one because I wanted to take as few products with me on holiday as possible. So I found this was the best option because I could put it on in the morning and the night. Um, but if I had to pick one, it'd be this one. I'm going to be so like brutally honest, I don't use them. Um, so I've got the Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I've got the C Firma Fresh Day Serum. And I've got the Proteiny Peptide Resurf Serum. This one was there a difference with my skin i don't know i used to use it i think it's good if your skin's super dry but in all honesty i've not I've, i didn't notice a difference i kind of forget about this one but yeah maybe i just haven't given it a fair shot but i don't i don't love it and then this one this is an ampm one i think this is also very similar to this this isn't so i think this is actually probably a better equivalent of this but I just never, I don't know why I didn't go for this one. 10% lactic acid. I think that's probably why I was thinking I was a bit afraid with the lactic acid percentage. Yeah, I don't know. This one just, I mean, I'll probably get around to using it, but it just didn't. I guess when I had this one, I found this one more appealing because of the protect element rather than this, which is like resurface. So who knows? I'll, maybe I'll get around to it. And this one, this one's a fun one actually, because when you get this from Drunk Elephant, God, what have I done to this? I think I wrecked it um they send it to you and it's not actually oh god i think I, this is nearly expired so basically they send you this serum and it comes like separate like it's all in bits and you get this little pot of like powder the vitamin c has a shelf life of about six months and this i probably got this about six months ago so it's probably this should probably be binned now and they were finding that it wasn't people were getting it but because it had already been pre-mixed it wasn't being as like potent as it should be or as effective as it should be that's probably a better word so they sent it they send it now in like a kit and you make it yourself and you put it on your shelf and you use it within six months um and then you pop it all together and it turns into a regular drunk elephant component again i've just never i've never been drawn to it it says firm and brighten i guess if you're slightly older 
it might be more appealing. It's just one of those things. They sent me so many serums at once that I didn't know where to start. So I was just kind of, should I have saved this? Maybe, but again, if you need more vitamin C, this is probably a good shout. Or if you're slightly older, this is probably a good one too. But for me personally, I should probably just throw this away now. And then in terms of other random things I have, their eye cream, Drunk Elephant, 10 out of 10, cannot fault it, adore this stuff. Sun cream, we all need sun cream in our lives. And this one, my go-to, favourite of all time is the Aven one because it was the only one I wasn't allergic to growing up and it stuck with me. And yeah, I've got three of the Drunk Elephant lip balms. One of these is dead empty, but I can still scoot some of it out. So keep these. I'm not a massive oil person, but I do like this for winter. And I've been trying out the West Barn Co Glow Oil and I feel like this is quite nice. I put it on last night and I woke up this morning and my skin felt great. But I just don't like overdoing it because I know that I put, I put too much oil on, I get spots. So for winter, I adore this stuff. I actually keep the mini one, I refill this and keep it in my bag with me. For when I get dry eyelids, for when I get you know dry around my nose, this stuff is sick. The Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil from Drunk Elephant. Yeah, and then in terms of what Drunk Elephant sent me, because I realised that's quite fun, they've sent me basically refills of my favourite things. So I've got know all the moisturizers the cleanser the b facial um moisture, uh, mask and then i've got the tlc night serum and then in terms of new things that i'm very in, like keen to try out um they sent me a mix of hair care and skincare so in terms of skincare they've sent me the e-raise milky micellar water which is look at this color it's like an edible color when they when they last sent me stuff I didn't throw out the packaging for like three to four weeks because it was so pretty and I didn't have the heart. It was like stacked next to my toilet because I just did not have the heart to throw it out. But eventually I was like, this is, rid this is ridiculous now. Yeah, so I can't wait to try their micellar water because it's always useful after a shoot. They sent me their de-bronzy anti-pollution suntan drops and their eau blues rosy drops, which are like their makeup. So I am obsessed with like looking dewy, looking healthy. And this is their like bronzer and their blush. So I really like, I'm really excited to try these out. Other skincare, they sent their sugar coffee almond milk scrub, a body scrub. I love me a body scrub. I get back me, this is the one. And they've also sent me the body lotion version of my favorite serum, which is just so sick. Um, again, the back me, sweaty back, sweaty bra. These two better, if they don't clear it up, I'm gonna be mad. That show works, it's Drunk Elephant, but I'm, you know, I need to try these out. And then last but not least, they sent me some hair stuff. Um, and you'll have noticed that my hair is not, you know, it's, there's something up. It's half of it's gone. I lost a small dog's worth of hair. Um, so they sent me their glossing shampoo, their Marula cream conditioner, and a TLC Happy, so Happy Scalp Scrub. So it's the hair scrub version of this of this lotion, which is the body lotion version of my fit. I mean, honestly, if I just, I'm gonna die happy now. This is like, oh mate, I'm gonna be a new woman. I need to go shower. I'm actually, you know, I need to go for a run. I'm gonna run and then I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be glowy. My hair's gonna look great. I'm gonna be like a whole new person. But yeah, if you have any questions or any suggestions for what else you'd like to see from me, please let me know. Um, I've actually really enjoyed this and I hope you have too. So please let me know what your favorite is down below. Let me know if there's any skincare products you absolutely swear by that you, t you think I should try. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>